Welcome back to Pearls of Eden. These words are flowing like rivers today so that I want to go ahead and share what it is that I can share while I have time. Isaiah 11, I want to read it to you from verse 2. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. The servant of the Lord must be wise and understanding and prudent in the word of God. When others are quick to speak, we must be quick to listen to what the spirit of the living God has to say. A true servant of God does not judge by what he hears with his ears, his natural ears, and what he sees with his natural eye. But he allows the spirit of God to show him a thing and a matter so that we might judge from righteousness and not through hypocrisy. Oh, child of God, be careful. Be very careful. Be slow to speak. I know we live in a day where everybody feels like they have to give their opinion on a matter. But be quick to pray. Slow to speak. And quick to listen. Yes, there is exposure that is happening, good and bad. And it's not the kind of exposure that you might be looking for that you would think you would find in the natural. This exposure is coming in all manner of ways. Think it not strange when you go through the fire, child of God. Because the fire, it exposes, it purges, it cleanses, it shows us many things. Think it not strange because, see, God is mowing the lawn for a lot of you all so that he can expose the snakes that are around you. Oh, everybody loves to be around you when it's good times and you're living the high life. But child of God, look around who is with you when you're going through the fire. Take a good look and thank God for the fire because it's exposing who and what is truly for you. Think it not strange, child of God, when you go through the fire, because yes, this is exposure season, and God is exposing the hearts of men and many, many things. Oh yes, he is. Think it not strange when you go through the fire. He is dwindling down the army in many ways. All God needs is a few good men. And he is examining the hearts of many right now. Think it not strange when you go through the fire. But thank God for the fire. Because it is exposing many, many things.